everything inside me. Shara Star said. If you catch 100 red fire ants as well as 100 large black ants and put them in the jar, at first, nothing will happen. However, if you violently shake the jar and dump them back on the ground, the ants will fight until they eventually kill each other. The thing is, the red ants think the black ants are the enemy, and vice versa, when in reality, the real enemy is the person who shook the jar. This is exactly what's happening in society today. Liberal versus conservative. Black versus white. Rich versus poor. Man versus woman. Cop versus citizen. The real question we need to be asking ourselves is, who's shaking the jar? And why? A few weeks ago, I saw the quote in Jeff Thomas's article, entitled, Learning from Ants, and it has been reverberating in my mind ever since. It is a perfect analogy for what has been happening in this country for years, with the jar lately being shaken at a rate faster than a Biden vote count increase at 3 a.m. in a swing state. Everyone in this country and the world is at each other's throats. Who is shaking the jar? Why are they shaking the jar? Why do they want us fighting each other? If they keep us focused on fighting each other, they believe we will not notice their reprehensible criminality, as they manipulate the masses through psychological engineering and the employment of propaganda techniques to push their desired narrative. If you ask someone who is shaking the jar, they will likely answer based on the standard left versus right, liberal versus conservative, white versus black paradigm, which has been created by those benefiting from conflict. It is always a safe bet to follow the money when trying to identify the culprits. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The elevated intensity of manipulation by those pulling the strings of societal discontent, reveals much about their level of desperation in creating more chaos, because the awakening of more to the truth, endangers their wealth, power, and control. They have turned the shaking power up to 11 in the last year, as an implosion of the Ponzi financial system was looming as we entered 2020, and the deep state oligarchs needed cover to implement a massive injection of liquidity into the veins of Wall Street bankers, the medical industrial complex, and mega corporations like Amazon, Walmart and Target. The non-stop fear-mongering was purposely rampant to keep the public distracted, while the national wealth pillaging operation proceeded at a breakneck pace behind the scenes. $600 for you, and $10 trillion for them. The monstrous effort to polarize the country by the psychopaths in suits pulling the strings of societal disgruntlement, has the ultimate purpose of subjugation and dominion over every aspect of our lives. They no longer feel the need to conceal their treachery, as they openly proclaim their great reset, where you will own nothing and be happy, living in a 200 square feet shipping container, eating synthetic meat, drinking reprocessed piss, snacking on bugs, and praying their windmill and solar power works on calm cloudy days, as a frigid winter storm front arrives. None of this is an accident. It is not occurring naturally. This is the result of a designed blueprint to control and rule the world by a relatively small cadre of billionaire oligarch globalists, big tech despots, bought-off politicians, the banking cabal fronted by their puppets at the Federal Reserve, surveillance state operatives, military-industrial complex parasites, captured corporate media, mega-corporations, and mid-level government apparatchik sucking on the teeth of the deep state. These people are the real government who had been pulling the strings behind the curtain, but now feel emboldened to openly execute their plans, after observing how easily the masses could be manipulated and controlled through fear. Decades of dumbing down the populace through government-run public school indoctrination disguised as education, has produced millions of non-critical thinking barely sentient consumers who have their beliefs fashioned, choices formed, and opinions dictated by manipulative men operating in the shadows. 
Those pulling the strings understand the psychological processes, societal relationships, and technology-driven social media addictions of the masses. They know how to sell a narrative based upon the emotions, feelings, fears, and biases of the masses. With so few capable of critical thinking and seeing through their deceptive manipulation of the storyline, complete control over mainstream and social media gives those pulling the strings tremendous power over the direction of society. And if they can keep the majority at each other's throats, distracted by trivialities, minutia, false narratives, and unable to decipher the truth, they can keep us subjugated and constrained, while they pilfer and pillage the wealth of the nation. It is a despicably audacious plan, but is working to perfection. But, as always with humans, their hubris and myopia have convinced themselves they are infallible and immune to defeat. Their greed and arrogance will ultimately lead to their downfall. Glenn Greenwald recently called out the faux journalists working in the corporate media complex for their shamefully pathetic attempt to twist the truth into the false narrative required by their deep state puppet masters. They are nothing but highly paid whores doing tricks at the behest of their oligarch pimps. Glenn Greenwald said. If you think the real power centers in the US are the Proud Boys, 4chan and Boogaloos, rather than the CIA, FBI, NSA, Wall Street and Silicon Valley, and spend most of your time battling the former, while serving the latter as stenographers, your journalism is definitionally sh**. Real journalists like Greenwald and Tucker Carlson are not afraid to confront those shaking the societal jar. That is why there is a concerted effort by those shaking the jar to try and destroy Substack, where Greenwald writes, after The Intercept began to censor his articles and to force Fox to cancel Carlson by pressuring advertisers to boycott his show. This cancel culture tactic is being employed by those in control to crush dissent and free speech so their narrative can dominate the airwaves and social media platforms, drowning out the truth. There is a war for the soul of America underway, and only one side is fighting. The globalist cabal along with their billionaire backers, big tech tyrants, big media, big pharma, and big corporations. They have positioned their troops as attorney generals, governors, mayors, and legislators, in universities, in K-12 classrooms, in the media, on Wall Street, at the Fed, and in the swamp of D.C. They now have a senile useful idiot in the White House, with a compliant cackling diversity hire waiting in the wings to become their new stooge. The technique of using propaganda to manipulate the opinions of the masses, put forth by Edward Bernays almost 100 years ago, has been enhanced and perfected by the deceitful and traitorous psychopaths, operating as the shadow government, as they purposely construct false narratives and bogeymen, so they can expand their supremacy, dominion, and fortunes. It has always been this way, as human nature never changes, but the level and intensity has been ratcheted up to a degree never seen before in human history. Technological advances have allowed these evil men to reinforce their narrative, while suppressing the truth-tellers and brainwashing the masses to do as they are told. Over the last five to ten years, they have convinced a vast swath of the population to believe utter nonsense and buy into false narratives and fake news that a sixth-grade level IQ should be able to see through. I have never lived through the final days of an empire, but this must be how it feels. Those shaking the jar understand the mental processes of the ants, because the indoctrination curriculum instilled in their brains by government-controlled public schools through sub-mediocre, union-worshipping, social justice warrior teachers, has been designed to make them obedient, non-thinking, susceptible to psychological manipulation consumers. The controllers know which buttons to push to keep the masses at each other's throats. Democrat versus Republican, liberals versus conservatives, black versus white, male versus female, gay versus straight, young versus old, rich versus poor, capitalists versus socialists, white collar versus blue collar, essential versus non essential, police versus citizens, military versus civilian, and numerous variations on these categories of warring factions. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.